In this video, I'll be describing some of the main features of this new Dash X 3D printer. Uh, probably looks sim uh, similar to some Core XY designs that you've seen out there. But as I go through it, you'll begin to see there are some of the unique uh, things. It is, it is not, not Core XY. Uh, first of all, just to get you started, all of the bearings, all of the linear bearings use the open build style, uh, the mini wheels and the V-rail. The, this is the real deal. You can see I have, you can see it down there, the eccentric. Uh, these particular rollers or, or carriages have three wheels. That's true on both sides of the Y and X. That's the other X carriage. And there's a Y carriage here and there's a matching one on the other side. In the middle is a... Uh, it's, it's based on the Creality style extruder. It is a 24 volt system. So I can get down here and see it in operation. And you can see the BL touch mounted to the side. Um, the carriage itself, this uh, uh, hot end carriage, has uh, dual fans one for cooling the part and one for cooling the hot end itself. Uh, it's based on a design that I found on Thingiverse and I'll include a link to that up on the, uh, the YouTube uh, video. The uh, BL Touch is adjustable, uh, roughly adjustable by sliding it up and down and I do the fine tuning adjustment with the, uh, the Marlin software. Anyway, so let, let's kind of get back to the big picture here. Um, there are two motors for the X and Y, one dedicated X and Y, uh, no longer relying on Core XY or HBOT. I just didn't have the greatest experience with either one of them in terms of print quality. And you can see the two motors operating. Uh, if you look at one here, this is the X motor. It's up on top. It direct drives to this fiberglass shaft a solid fiberglass shaft and there are pulleys and belts on either end here's a slave shaft and the combination of all of that helps to make sure that the X uh, bar uses a, a cross beam design so the intersection of those two define the X and Y uh, location of the hot end trying to keep the weight down and uh, more importantly, uh, besides keeping very close control, um, it ensures that the kinematics, as in the moving mass, in the X and the Y direction are identical. I felt that that would produce the most uh, reliable and highest speed uh, output. The Z-axis is nothing really special. It has a, a single motor down below, three lead screws, and uh, to keep things oriented, I have these a front and a back carriage that are attached to the, uh, uh, again, a V-beam. And it's a heated bed, of course. Right now I'm using PEI, but I'm toying around with uh, other bed surfaces as well. I'm trying to think there's any other major features here. Uh, I do have the, this is a, a change for me. I've switched over to the BMG style. This happens to be a clone. Uh, uh, using Bowden. Uh, it is using Capricorn tubing. I've been happy with the results on that. Uh, it is a 24 volt system. And in addition, I have a custom made uh, filament run out sensor that's all hooked up to the controller. The controller itself, which is housed in a box, you can see it over on the side here. Uh, it is cooled. Um, I believe it's an MKS Gen 1.4 using Marlin 1.1.9. That's pretty much it. Uh, the results have been quite promising. Uh, still kind of dialing it in. I think the, uh, the important feature here, and the thing that I'm finding uh, most satisfying, is the use of the two pairs of rigid linkage, rigid um, um, shafts, the fiberglass. Fi by the way, fiberglass shafts are nice and stiff from a torsional point of view, but from a weight point of view, they're very lightweight. So the combination of those two attributes make it uh, really quite ideal for this application. 
Um, as you can see, it, it moves uh, with you know quite positively. Let me get down a bit. You can watch it doing its thing a little bit. Uh, I could probably run it faster. Um, I'm, I'm again, I'm still kind of dialing it in, and uh, I have also been quite happy with the results with the uh, Creality style um, hot end. Uh, it, again, it's one of the clones. It's certainly coming from China, and. Uh, I may at some point, because of the way I've mounted it on here, that whole head assembly un unmounts with three bolts. So I can add, probably add, without too much trouble, a dual extruder setup. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, I will be posting this design up on the openbuilds.com webpage. Uh, if anyone wants to uh, co make comments, please do go ahead. Uh, again, it, it's a, an evolution. I started with uh, the H-Bot, which I found the axes were fighting each other. Switched over to Core XY, a pure Core XY. Uh, that was better, but I still, I, I guess it, it's a, almost a bias at this point. I still feel like having distinct X and distinct Y motors is an advantage from a control system's point of view. Much less calculations for the uh, controller to do and better isolation between the two axes. Uh, I should mention one last thing. Um, the bed supports here, if you can see, here's one of them. There are three such like this. If you see there's a large white uh, dial or knob, that actually is attached directly to the lead screw nut. So there are no springs here. You know, many people like to use springs on their beds. Uh, me personally, I prefer to have a direct drive uh, directly attached to the bed support. But the the beauty of this is that when I turn that knob, now that's a friction mount. I want to make sure it doesn't turn by itself. But when I turn that knob, because it's kind of large, I can easily enough adjust and level the bed using a three-point support. That's one of them and you can see the other two on the end here, uh, it makes it super easy to level the bed and very stable. Don't have to worry about spring, the springiness or any uh, the, the vibration causing the bed to, to lurch up and down even subtly. So uh, I think those are the major features. If you have questions, uh, feel free to comment. And as I said, I will be posting this design in a complete design, probably with uh, where to source some of the materials, uh, up on uh, openbuilds.com.